guys before the inevitable reboot? Tracking shots! Yes! Yes! Hours and hours of tracking shots! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Is this a movie or a New Zealand tourist commercial? Cue title scene. The Hobbit Battle of Five Armies is the third film in the overly bloated Hobbit trilogy. It was originally supposed to be called The Hobbit There and Back Again, as it is in the book, but God knows we follow that. We have a franchise to soullessly milk. And this movie is... that. The end to this whole Middle Earth franchise until Hollywood decides to start it up again. And to be perfectly honest, that's what I came out of this movie with. First up, the plot. Naturally, it's wrapping up everything from the other two movies. After Smaug got away and is heading towards the village, Bilbo and the crew have to go stop him. Then that happens. Movie over! Oh, no, wait. No, wait, film not over. We still have all this crap we made up that we need to now resolve. Which means that all the armies of Middle-earth, uh... I don't even know. I didn't bother. I was kind of checked out at that point. Basically, all the five armies come in to see all of Smaug's millions of dollars of treasure. Basically, what's going to happen when Donald Trump dies. But that, of course, leads to the rest of our movie, which the film just sort of turns into one big continuous action scene after that point. To which case, it kind of feels rushed, bloated, and then moments of awesome! I'm not going to lie, if you're looking for a dumb action movie, this film kind of devolves into that, as pretty much the film sort of just abandons everything the other two movies had set up. Everything from all the elven politics from the last movie to the weird hop, the troll, whatever they're called, romance with Evangeline Lilly, to pretty much Bilbo even feeling important. All of that's pretty much just abandoned, so that way we can end on a big action note. Why? So that way we can just seamlessly go into Lord of the Rings. Why? Because at the end of the day, that's all this, these movies existed for. It's just to continue Middle Earth and keep the fanboys going. That's not to say any of these movies have really been bad, but the thing is that's something you're going to notice as you're watching. There's constantly all these little nods and winks to the rest of the movies and the other three films. Honestly, it's annoying and it's distracting. I like Lord of the Rings, but I've never really gotten the big hype around them. And to be perfectly honest, this film did nothing to really bring me back into it. It really didn't do anything to make me feel anything for these characters. The action was cool, it was exciting, I liked it, and the film is very fun and enjoyable. Is it two hours and 25 minutes enjoyable? Not really. But for what it is, like I said last time with Desolation of Smaug, this movie is good. It's worth watching if you want to watch something that's awesome, adrenaline packed, and will keep you invested for the most part. This movie will do that because The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies, is an 8 out of 10 on the action movie scale. A lot of people are complaining that the CGI didn't really work. Eh, I do like practical effects more, but the film was still kick ass, awesome, and fun enough. It's worth watching, it's worth checking out. Just. Yes. Yeah, the problems are the things I mentioned. But, did you think that? In the comment section below, give me your thoughts on the Hobbit trilogy, anything Tolkien related, anything like that. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because the year's almost over, and there's still a couple more movies I want to get to.